GTA 6 is set to be the latest GTA in the franchise. Rather confusingly, this isn't the sixth GTA game that has ever been. There have been plenty of very popular games that haven't been included in the numerical series. Leave it to Rockstar to keep people guessing. For years, I always called GTA San Andreas GTA 5 until that got completely thrown out when the actual GTA 4 was released in 2008. For a developer as notoriously secretive as Rockstar, there is quite a lot that we already know about the game. Notwithstanding the material that was leaked back in 2022, there have been some developments that Rockstar has tentatively released to the public. Breadcrumbs of info for fans to salivate over as they impatiently wait for the final product. So let's dive in to see what we currently know for sure about GTA 6. Rockstar starts development. It's been reported that GTA 6 has been in early development as far back as 2012, but that it wasn't in the production line until around the middle of 2015, basically going from concept to actually being put together. Obviously, there have been a hell of a lot of technological advances in gaming and computing at large since then. If you think about what games looked like 10 years ago, don't worry. We're in for something a little better looking than that these days. In a since deleted Reddit post, Chris Liberty, an insider of Rockstar Mag, revealed that GTA 6 has been in development since 2014. According to that timeline, we're looking at around a decade of development for the game. Given that Red Dead Redemption 2 took eight years to finish, this shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone by now. These games take a long time and huge teams of people to complete. The leaked gameplay. During September of 2020, fans of the franchise were in for a rare treat. Despite Rockstar's best efforts to keep everything under wraps, a teenage hacker going by the name of Teapot Uber Hacker got their hands on nearly an hour's worth of footage from Rockstar's development environment. The hacker attempted to ransom the stolen material back to Rockstar, but ultimately failed in their endeavors when they were arrested by the police in the UK. Still, it left us all with a treasure trove of stuff to marvel at and see just what kind of gameplay was in store for eager players. An entire mission sequence that involved the two main protagonists robbing a diner was released to the public. Unfortunately, it is copyrighted material and Rockstar has done their best to try to scrub it from the internet, which means we cannot show it to you. But we can talk about the gameplay elements that were revealed. A lot was shown from that footage alone that have had many fans theorizing and speculating on gameplay features, including one where the player character is seen entering a vehicle and a prompt informs them that the police will remember any vehicle they are seen getting into. Stealing cars will be a lot more complicated depending on the car that you're trying to get. A beat up old truck shouldn't take much. A sports car in the middle of the city though, that's gonna take a few more tools to get without attracting too much attention from the law. New usable items such as trackers, Slim Jims, USBs and immobilizer jammers will be usable by the player in the game, making the Grand Theft Auto parts of the GTA franchise truly come alive. Speaking of the law and being screwed by its hard, long baton, the police in GTA 6 have been reimagined to be a lot more realistic than previous GTA games. Normally, any wanted level that was two stars or over meant that the police would become a pack of trigger-happy dogs that would spawn anywhere the player was, hunting them down to the ends of the game map, instantly gunning them down like they were definitely reaching for something, without thought. Now, it looks like the police will react differently according to different situations. From the leaked sequence at the diner, it looks like a two-star wanted level is no longer immediately lethal, and you may have the chance to interact with or even surrender to the police if you would rather not get wasted. Taking hostages looks to be a feature in the game, tying them with zip ties. This might feature in a possible negotiation system or simply as a means to have human shields between you and the blue line pointing guns at you, but that's mere speculation. Just know that you will be able to hog tie as many NPCs as your heart desires. Police will now have realistic response times as well. Depending on the crime you are doing and apparently even the place that you're committing it in will affect how quickly the police respond. It's probably not far out of the imagination that if you hold up a gas station in a rough part of town, you'll probably have a lot of time to wait for the police to turn up, and probably not in any large numbers. Firing rockets at the Get A Life building in the middle of downtown might be a different story. Time will tell. Lastly, in terms of all cops being bad, in the GTA universe of course, you do play a career criminal after all, 
corrupt cops will also be able to shake down the player for their cash. Do with that information what you will. Random DUI checks also appear to exist in the game, but at this point, it's unclear whether or not these will involve the player or be completely driven by NPC interactions. Setting the scene, the GTA series is once again returning to Vice City, the GTA version of Miami and South Florida. This time, however, it looks like there will be more than just the city to explore. Fictionalized versions of the Florida Keys and the Everglades will be explorable in the game. These will include their own biomes, weather, wildlife, and even multiple different police departments. Whether or not that map of the game will be smaller than the last GTA or in comparison to the huge map of Red Dead 2 remains to be seen, but Rockstar has been keen to stress that the longevity of GTA 5 has gone a long way into influencing their decisions when it comes to their games. If that's the case with GTA 6, we can definitely expect to see an online mode which we will talk about in a minute following the initial release of the game plus DLC coming down the pipe in the future. Regardless of Rockstar's plans for the future of the game, the map is said to be pretty big on its own with plenty of interactability laced throughout. Hell, even the gumball machines can be used, a feature that was seen in the leaked material and serves as yet another ode to Rockstar's absurd attention to detail, the characters and plot. Switching between the main protagonists is back. In this GTA, you play as Jason and Lucia a modern-day Bonnie and Clyde. It's been rumored that their romance will feature heavily in the story, which will be chaptered like Red Dead Redemption rather than being split into individual missions. You as the player will be able to switch between the two in the same manner as in GTA 5, where you are able to switch between the burnt-out tough guy career criminal Michael, the up-and-coming gangbanger Franklin looking to make a name for himself, and of course everyone's favorite and the only character to ever come close to embodying how people have historically played GTA games, Trevor. Interestingly, it appears that you will be able to switch between the characters almost instantaneously, rather than in a slow motion zoom out that characterizes the last GTA. It looks like special abilities will be making a comeback as well. Jason's special ability seems to resemble the Deadeye function from the Red Dead Redemption games. For now, we're not entirely sure what Lucia's special ability will be. Maybe she's a real Jill Valentine, the master of unlocking. As mentioned before, stealing cars is a lot more complicated. It stands to reason that there will be a lot of other complex features in the game when it comes to stealing things. Apparently, pulling off heists will be heavily featured in the game and its chaptered story. Heists and robberies will become more complex, planned and thought out adventures, driving the plot to its ultimate conclusion, whatever that may be. It's perfectly possible that Rockstar have written multiple possible endings that might feature Jason and Lucia pitted against one another like in the GTA 5, or just multiple different ways for the story to play out depending on your decisions. Who knows? It was pointed out by an internet sleuth on Reddit three years ago that Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, owns the domain names for GTAViceCityOnline.com and more recently RockstarCartel.com, whatever the hell that might be. Now, this information didn't even need to be leaked. Domain names are of course a matter of public record. You can look up who owns any domain name and even buy one yourself if you like. They do of course expire and have to be renewed, which is how this little nugget of information came to be. This small little clue tells us that we are definitely in for an online treat in the way of a Vice City online mode. As for Rockstar Cartel, who knows at this point? It could be a possible game mode or additional supplement to the online world that Rockstar are building beyond the single player game. To wrap up, even though there is still so much that we don't know about the game, it's clear that everyone is eager to get their hands on it and see what the next installment is all about. It's even been reported that Rockstar staff in Lincoln in the UK had to keep the blinds closed to stop fans from peeking in. Don't worry, we will keep you right and up to date with everything that is possible to know and speculate over with the upcoming GTA 6 developments. To save you the trouble of driving to Lincoln and bothering the poor staff at Rockstar, if you enjoyed this video and want more just like it, then pay your homage to the gods of the algorithm, omnipotent in their wisdom of the stuff you would probably enjoy. Simply click these suggested videos on screen and we'll see you there.